Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here in the series. My name is Dominic and I'm the host of the Android Factory. The last episode we went ahead and added in the Crashlytics dependencies and got everything up and running here so that we have our little Crashlytics dashboard up and running. Uh, we had just thrown a particular error uh, for Firebase here uh, on click of this particular or any of these characters here. And we ended up saying that in the last episode, we're going to go ahead and try to log or show you how to log some uh, non-fatals. And then we can even have some log statements involved in our crash reporting so that we can go ahead and continue to just pinpoint certain you know issues and stuff like that. So as we can see here in the logs of a particular crash, when you select it, there is a screen view here. And unfortunately, it actually just works uh, logging your activity here, the name of your activity. So kind of helpful if you have one to one ratio between your screens and your activities. However, we do not. We actually have a um, single activity that has multiple fragments, again, following that Jetpack navigation architecture. So this kind of loses its value here because we don't know exactly where in the Navgraph activity we are. Uh, but point being, there are certain things that already get logged for you inside of the Crashlytics tooling, and we can either augment that or add to it uh, you know, following their documentation. So quickly flipping over to the documentation here, I will link this in the description, no problem. Uh, but we can very easily just get an instance of our Crashlytics, and then we can set some custom keys here. These could be helpful for a variety of different reasons as you're kind of maybe going through the flow in your app and you want to log certain things. It could be helpful. Uh, you know, there's a way to kind of log multiple things at once, which is just great. And then otherwise here we have the ability to um, log with the log function particular information that will show up here inside of this log tab in the Crashlytics reporting and then there are some other things here where we can set uh, an identifier for a user so you know if there were to be an authentication flow in your application and once they sign in you get a unique ID from your backend or your service or the rest of your product uh, you can very easily set that ID here and then that will actually come up in the crash reporting as well and then there is even a way to basically record non-fatal exceptions with, with just the record exception function that exists there. And then that will actually trigger um, the, well, we got to go back, but that would trigger uh, an event type here of a non-fatal, and then you can filter by them or just the actual hard crashes here. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So previously we threw an exception here in this uh, list fragment to crash the app, but instead what we can go ahead and do here is let's get our instance of the Firebase Crashlytics, and then let's say record exception here. We will throw in a runtime exception of, uh, I don't know, saying some log. Let's say character ID selected equals the character ID. So obviously this really isn't much of an exception here, definitely not a runtime exception, but just to prove the point of you know what this user does at any point in the session, we can go ahead and just log it here via the record exception, and uh, you know hopefully it's normally more of an error. However, we do need to actually crash this application somehow in order to see this opening up. So maybe let's just go to the episode uh, list fragment here, and inside of our on view created at the bottom, we will just crash the app. Okay, so we have this up and running here. If we go ahead and rerun this application, we can see a handful of little exceptions or logs or something like that here. And then we can actually go ahead and collect them here via the uh, crashing the app and whatnot. So if we click on Rick Sanchez, we don't know what the ID is, but we'll find out soon. And then Beth Smith, uh, and then also Summer Smith. And then we go to the uh, episode list fragment, and obviously the app is going to crash. We have our four Firebase uh, log here. Sorry if you heard my cat in the background. Uh, and then if we flip back over to the Crashlytics here, let's see how long it takes to uh, kind of get this up and running. All right, so we actually, I mean, we did that in real time basically. Uh, so we already have this information logged here. So you can see that there is a crash. Um, now there are a few different crashes here. So now this dashboard is starting to come together here. We have our event type here, this one being non-fatal, these other two being actual fatal crashes. Again, stuff that we just hard-coded. And then you can see here in this little chart, there's a difference between the fatal and non-fatal. You can also go in through the event type filters here and just filter for the non-fatal ones and then it'll show you that. Uh, since we don't have a whole lot, I'm just gonna leave the filter, uh, like no filter there. And so we're just gonna see everything at this point in time. But 
if we go ahead and see this uh, stuff here, we can clearly see that uh, there have been three non-fatal events for our one user. We have the character ID selected three, and then here we can kind of page through the different events here. So then we can see the character selected is four, and then if we go to the first one, it's gonna be one with the Rick Sanchez information. So that's wonderful here. Uh, our logs still remain the same here, right? We just see the nav graph activity. Let's see if we bounce out to the other crash here on the episode list fragment. Let's see if these logs say anything different. Yeah, so point being, we basically go to the screen, we basically go to the activity, and then it gets logged you know, at one time and one time only. Even though we navigated a few different ways before this crash happened in our episode list fragment, we navigated around inside of our app, we only get basically the activity because of you know, how Firebase is set up originally, doesn't really work well with fragments, however, we can change that here. So if we flip back over to our Android Studio, we're gonna leave this for now, but a quick thing that I'm gonna do here is search for the whole project for this exact string, the colon fragment open bracket, and basically that means uh, that these four fragments here are our four fragments. So what I'm thinking here is one thing we can do to accomplish you know, logging which fragment we view is creating a base fragment that all of these fragments extend, and then in that on view created of the base fragment, we can simply do our log, and we can actually log the, um, you know, the name of the class here. So if we just go ahead and take a look here, we'll just put it in the base package. We're just gonna call this uh, base fragment here. It's going to be a class. It's going to extend the fragment, the Android X fragment here. I believe all of mine take in the at layout res, uh, layout res. And we'll just pass that in to the constructor of the fragment. And then here in the on view created, what we will do is simply log our information. So we can say Firebase Crash Lytics, get instance of, um, and I believe it's just gonna be log. Let's go ahead and check the documentation here. Uh, right, so yes, we're using record exception here, and then otherwise we can use log at this point. And then we kind of need to log something that is you know, unique here or something that's helpful for us. So we can say here, sure, let's, uh, let's give this a whirl with just our uh, simple name here for now. And if we need to change it, we will. But the one thing that we do need to change here actually is we do need to go ahead and change all of this around. So again, uh, we are just going to change this to be the base fragment. Then we're gonna go into this fragment as well and change it to be the base fragment. We'll take the base fragment here. Okay, so we'll just need to create, uh, we'll need to modify something here in the base fragment. Okay, so now all of our fragments extend to base fragment. We do have a small issue here, just because we need to simply just make that open or abstract or something that we can extend from it. And that is about it. So now all of our fragments here implement this fragment. So that means that this on view created is going to run for all of our different fragments, our different pages that we see. So we are going to go ahead and log in the on view created the name and we should see a whole bunch more information, helpful information inside of the logs here. So if we go into the character details fragment for Morty Smith and then we bounce out and then we go in there for Jerry Smith and then we bounce out again and now we wanna to go to the episodes. The app is gonna crash, which is wonderful because we do want to take a look at all of this information here inside of our crash lytics. So wonderful, it has already been updated, so that is fantastic. Uh, let's find the correct one here. Yep, sorry, this is the correct one. Obviously we need to look at the crash here, the episode list fragment crash. And so we can see the time newest first here. So that means that this one is the older version or this is the first thing the user did so they saw the character list fragment the screen view gets logged as well so that just must have happened uh, very close to one another there then we see that we go to the character detail fragment then back to the list then to the detail then to the list again and then we go to the episode list and then our crash happens so with having this information stored in the or I guess logged inside of the um, base class that we had offered there, we see that whenever any of these fragments are inflated or any of them are their on view created runs, we do log this information to the Crashlytics library so that when a crash does happen or if a crash does happen, we will at least have a little bit of a breadcrumb, a little bit of a trail here 
of what exactly happened, what the user went through, and you know this can hopefully help debug or recreate any of the issues that you have inside of your applications. And so the last thing here that I did want to cover in this episode because we brought it up here when we're reviewing the documentation is just the simple fact that it's quite simple to you know set the particular uh, ID here. So we're just going to fudge this obviously, but uh, you know this would probably be helpful for we'll leave it at that but it'll it'll be helpful for when your user you know signs in or something along those lines you'll be able to you know set this unique identifier so that then this information will also be presented to you inside of the application so if we go to this page and then we go back and then we go ahead and kill the app the uh, the um, nice little setup we have there we can go ahead and take a look at our crash lytics and once we see here, I gotta just find the right one here. Okay, so it's gonna be this one. And then the one that's most recent will come up first here, it seems. So we're gonna go ahead and just use that. Again, we'll see in our logs, we'll see the little breadcrumbs there. And then in the data tab here, we have, it even knows it, it adds like another little header, another little section, if you will, here. And it gives you the, the particular user ID. So you can also have this information when reviewing your crashes and your crash reports so that then you can you know kind of couple that with maybe the logs I'm sorry my cat is just screaming right behind me uh, but you know with the little breadcrumbs here and then you'll be able to get you know hopefully the full picture and diagnose whatever issue is going on there so this was a little bit of a more in-depth I guess analysis of what you can do in Crashlytics and how you can customize your you know reporting here and all that kind of stuff you know, again, you can run through the different filters here so that it makes your life a little easier. And as you start pushing out updates, you can obviously, uh, you know, see all of them. Or if you just want to see particular versions and see how the latest release is doing or something like that. So Crashlytics, again, there's really so much you can do inside of here. It's honestly an absolute necessity if you're going to be pushing code to prod. Again, I will link all this stuff in the description here so that you can review the documentation on your own time. And please don't hesitate to reach out if you do have any questions. This is something that's pretty important to get right so that you, you know, can kind of provide the users the best experience possible and you know, kind of mitigate bugs and all those kind of issues uh, as fast as possible just to keep your uh, app up and running as smooth as possible. So if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate a like. I'd really appreciate a comment. Let me know how you're doing. If you learned something, if you think this is helpful, or if you don't like Crashlytics, you know, let's get the conversation going inside the comments. It would be great. Uh, if you do notice that you are not subscribed, consider subscribing only because I am pushing out content on a pretty regular basis, uh, sometimes daily, sometimes, you know, multiple times a week. So there is plenty more content to come here. We've just scratched the surface here really with Firebase project overview, uh, getting things set up, and Crashlytics. There are all of these other tabs that you can just use to your advantage. Um, and, you know, I mean, there's just, there's, there's a lot to cover here. So we might not get to it in this season, but we will definitely get to it uh, at some point here on the channel. Firebase really is just a blessing. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video here. So I will catch you guys in the next one and have a good day. Thanks.